up, everybody? Ryan here down in Pittsburgh at the uh, Pittsburgh Mills Mall. Got a Lennox rooftop unit here. Heat exchangers written up. I've got all my parts up here. I'm gonna take it all apart, uh, get the uh, heat exchanger replaced. A little three tube heat exchanger. Shouldn't be too bad. So I'm gonna get set up, ready to go. Uh, let's do this. Got the lid off, all the panels, everything's open and exposed. I like it. I'm gonna start disassembling everything here. Manifold's gonna come out, um, all that good stuff. And uh, these are pretty easy, so shouldn't take too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and disassemble all the wiring. I'm gonna get this sensor taken out. I'm gonna get all the wires, get them pulled over into the electrical panel here, get the manifold off, the burners, and then it's just screws all around the perimeter to hold this thing in place, so. All right, all the wires are out, pulled over. I get this burner assembly out. I'm gonna need my extension and a right angle attachment. I could probably leave it on and get it out after we pull the heat exchanger out, but I'll just go ahead and take care of it right now. Here we are. That should be it. Got all the screws out along the sides all the way in the front here so i'm pretty sure that's gonna do it we start wiggling now and see if this thing will come loose just make sure you get all your uh, plugs and uh grommets out get your wires pulled up and out because this thing's gonna slide right out on these two rails here and if there's something there you might catch Give yourself a little bit more work uh, here after you get the new one in. So I'm gonna go ahead. I think I got all the screws out. I'm gonna give it a wiggle and see if we can slide this thing out. One screw. One screw is buried behind some wires. Never fails. There's always one holding it in. guys as you can see the heat exchangers out it's a good thing I got her propped up right here I'm gonna go grab all my other parts we're gonna set them side by side and get everything put on that needs to get put on before we shove it back in a unit I'll be back guys we got everything here flame sensor igniter turbulators combustion blower flu box uh, burners everything we got it all so i've um, got limits and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna spread out all these parts and get everything put back together Got the turbulators in place with this little bracket that hold them right in place. And now I'm gonna get the gasket and the flute box put in place and get the combustion blower mounted. All right, combustion blower's in place. We're gonna turn around and work on the burner end. Gotta grab a plate off of the old unit that they didn't send. Combustion blowers in, flu boxes in, 
Uh, everything's looking good here, aside from the ignition control and the gas valve and the limits. Uh, we're going to be in good shape to go ahead and uh, stuff this thing back in. She's in. I just have to line up all the holes and get all the screws back in place and uh, we'll be good to start swapping out the other parts. So all the screws are back in. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and start replacing all the other components gas valve, limits, things of that nature. And then we'll get the lid put on this sucker, block off that uh, supply duct, fire it up, and we should be good to go. So for now, I'm gonna work on that gas valve and see what other kind of parts I got floating around here. Of course I've got that blue magic here, always. I like it. I just got to get my uh, new pressure switch put in place. Make sure to clean all your bees nests out of your uh, flue pipe. There we go. All right, obstruction free. So we'll get this snorkel put in place. I got some limits left to do. I've got the ignition control still to replace. All right, guys, I got James over here goofing around as usual. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and do the ignition control for me while I get that uh, limit replaced. There we go. Got her back in place. Now we can scoot the economizer back over. And get this power exhaust put back in place and these hoods for the economizer. Got the ignition control in. Yep. I like it. That works for me. Uh, everything is here. I don't want to forget my scratch all. Limits have been replaced. Everything's good there. So we're going to get these panels on, get the gas line hooked back up, get the cover on it, get the uh, top back on it, and we'll hook up my manometer, run this thing, make sure we're good to go. We're all blocked off on the supply. Just use the access panel from this area. It fit right over the top. Perfect. Got the lid on, all the screws. Everything's wired back up. Um, got my manometer hooked up. I got to get this blower door in place. And then I think we're going to be good to uh, force it into heat on the control board. So let me get that. I'll be back. All right. The moment of truth. Yeah, nothing went boom. That's a good sign. Let this thing boot up. I'm gonna go ahead and force it into heat. There we go. Switch this over to unit test and shift. And then that'll give us our uh, CO1. It's if you wanna force it into cooling. Keep bumping it over till you get to HO1. H1O and then H11 is where I normally go and then hold the button down Get two dots And there we go Combustion blowers running Here we go So we're 
current 3.8 inches water column calls for 3.5 so i'm gonna just bump that down a little bit get this thing right on the money while it burns off all right 3.5 baby on the money she's a stinker she's a stinker that's for sure well we're gonna go ahead and let this thing cook while we start cleaning up our mess and uh, I'll bring you back when we're all finished up all right guys everything's good with this we're about burned off nothing stinks anymore too bad so we're gonna button it up and haul all our crap down to the van all right guys that's gonna do it for this one I appreciate you watching if you like the video hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon that'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out hit like Leave me a comment. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.